Hey guys, it's Martin from Yes I'm a Designer. Now you probably expect me to show you something really cool and new in Photoshop CC 2019, but this video will be slightly different. Okay, so I don't want to sound negative and I don't want to be a downer, but for the 20th version of Photoshop, which is Photoshop CC 2019, I was expecting much more from the update. So there are some new features and I recorded the videos and I'm going to go into detail in each of them. But I thought I'd dedicate a separate video on the contradiction of what's happening and the direction that Photoshop is taking. I am going to share you my personal opinions and uh, I try to be as objective as possible. So being a full-time designer and an instructor that teaches Photoshop, I feel like I am very close and passionate about everything that is happening with this application and I really want the best for future versions of Photoshop. So to start on a positive note, I know that the Photoshop team is working extremely hard and they are a group of passionate people as well that want to make this application better. And their focus for this current version was to improve the performance and they've done a lot of work that's under the hood. So you don't see it, but they are updating it even down to how Photoshop is handling layers. The whole engine handling that has been rewritten and continuously been improved to make the application run faster, smoother, and without less issues in general. That is a great thing. And I feel like it is more important to have a more stable and fast application than to have some shiny new gimmicks and features that might look cool, but you might not use it ever in your work. So definitely that is a very good direction. And we have to understand that it takes time and uh, rewriting code is not a simple task. Another thing that is clearly important for the developers is to make Photoshop more user friendly, especially for beginners. So anyone who is just starting out using Photoshop might have issues with certain behaviors and uh, just generally functions in Photoshop. And that's something that they are trying to refine. So getting easier like that learning curve to make it more steep and every new user should be able to get into Photoshop much faster. That's again, a very good direction and I can see the improvements already done in that area. It is also important to mention that Adobe is working on a cross-platform version of Photoshop, which is coming soon, probably releasing in 2019. But I can quote The Verge on this. So they said, Adobe is set to be planning to announce the release of the full version of Photoshop for the iPad in October of this year. Now that's most likely Adobe Max. And if you are watching this video after Adobe Max, you probably already seen this announcement. I am going to be at Adobe Max, so I'm really excited to learn more about this. But to continue the statement, the company's Scott Belsky, who is by the way, the founder of Behance and the chief product officer for Creative Cloud, confirmed the cross-platform edition of Photoshop, though not the timeline of its release. So that's again, a very exciting direction. And I can't wait for it because I use my iPad all the time. And um, I'm mainly using Procreate on it. And although Adobe has its mobile apps as well out, I would feel like having Photoshop running on an iPad would really help me to work while I'm outside of my studio. And that is a very smart move. And I think Adobe is investing a lot of power and time into doing that. I completely understand that it takes a lot of time and effort. So these three things that I mentioned are great and I'm completely on board with Adobe on them. But besides these, I am afraid to say that I am generally let down by the new features introduced in CC 2019. So even though there's a lot of work put into doing these other things that we talked about, the actual functionality and features introduced are not well thought out and they feel a bit rushed. So if you want to find out more about them, make sure you check out my other videos that I recorded specifically on each new feature like the frame tool and you will see what I mean. And again, I don't want to sound negative, but comparing Photoshop's new features to Illustrator and InDesign, 
I feel there's much less in this current version, uh, much less functional change that I can mention. Now again, let me just reiterate a bit because since they started doing Creative Cloud and it became a subscription model, they are doing more frequent updates and adding features as they go along and they are not holding back everything for these big announcements like the Adobe Max each year. So again, on a positive note, between CC 2018's announcement and the current announcement, they actually added a couple of really cool features like the select subject. So from the select menu, choosing subject is one of those great new time savers that really gets you to an estimate selection that you can improve later. So that's something that we can consider part of CC 2019, even though it was released earlier. So it is unfair to say that the Photoshop team is not working hard because there are improvements. They are just not coming out all at once on one day, which again, I think is a much better concept and it's better for us users because we get to work with these new features much earlier. We don't have to always wait a whole year until they get released. And even the technology previews, I think is really smart because they can hide some features from most users, but for more power users, you can actually access them, enable them and test them out even while they are being developed. So without going into more detail, I would love to hear your comments on what you think about the current release. So Photoshop CC 2019 and the things that been added as new features or things that been improved. But I would like to let you know that I'm working on a video series for our channel in which I'm going to show you or demonstrate my suggestions and ideas for future Photoshop features. And these ideas are not only coming from me, but I collected these from all the creative professionals that I know and also from students that I'm teaching in classrooms or online because there's so much great ideas out there. And I know that Adobe is collecting these, but we can try to help them by raising these ideas here on the channel and also having all of you guys, the viewers on board, giving us feedback, comments, likes and dislikes on things that we can come up with. And hopefully with this, maybe we can steer the direction of the changes that are happening to Photoshop for future releases. But that might be just wishful thinking. We will see what happens. But that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope it was not boring. And I promise in the other videos, I am focusing on the new features and techniques in these creative applications. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.